What are you offering? I am the only one who can help you beat Jackson. This is your new guy? I'm training him to break you. She's mine. Always will be, right? It's like I'm addicted to you. For this, did you and Ross kind of get to know each other before you started filming, or did you kind of just have to jump straight into it? Um, I I met Ross for the first time when we arrived in Poland to film, and we had two weeks before we actually started filming, mostly for fight training. But in that time, I got to know him a little bit, which was really really nice. And he's also so open and so welcoming that I feel like we got to know each other pretty well pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, a lot of our, our scenes, um, a lot of our more intimate scenes, we actually filmed later on in the schedule. So by that point, we knew each other very well, which was a bonus. So with those intimate scenes, what was the approach to make sure you both felt safe and comfortable? Yes, yes, we worked with an intimacy coordinator named Kasha, and she was so great. Um, even before we started filming, we talked about those specific scenes and we choreographed how they would go. So we made sure that we were all comfortable with everything, very vocal, felt very safe. Um, and Ross as a scene partner was just great. Always like checking in with me, making sure that I felt comfortable. So it was thankfully a very positive experience. And obviously you said you worked with Castile Landon on the after series. So what is it you like about her filmmaking style or approach to this genre? I think, well, I can speak to especially the intimate scenes that I had to film. I, I, I know that I had a beautiful experience filming those because of Castile. Um, not only in intimate scenes, but all across the board, she comes in and she knows exactly what she wants and what she needs. So I, we don't ever feel like we're giving performances that are for no reason. We don't feel like we need to do like 50 takes. We only have to do a couple of takes because she's so specific and very good at communicating with us. Um, so I love that about her. I also just love that she's such a boss. Like she's like so small, but so fiery and so um, powerful in a very like calm way. Uh, so she brings that energy to set where everyone just like listens to her because she knows what she's talking about. Very smart very wise um yeah i love her i'm i hope we get to work together again i would love that do you think you took any lessons from after into this movie i mean i got to work alongside josephine langford and hero and just speaking to them about their experience especially doing those intimate scenes i got to kind of like you know talk to them about that and um their experience working with castile so they were very reassuring that it was, you know, comfortable, that Castile was great. So I definitely took that from it. And I love the After series. Like I watched After One in theaters when it first came out way before I ever auditioned or um, got to play Nora. So I loved that toxic kind of relationship. As much as I don't like a toxic relationship, I think that everyone kind of experiences that in their life. And I like that those stories don't shy away from that because it makes people feel like they're less alone when they can see themselves on screen. And it kind of helps navigate situations like that. Uh, so knowing that this also involved a toxic relationship between Jax and Sienna, I was very up for telling that story. And were you familiar with the book series at all before you auditioned for the role? No, I wasn't. I wasn't familiar with the book series. Now I am, of course, but um, I wasn't familiar. And then when, when I was auditioning, I looked them up and I saw like they're huge on Wattpad. So I was really, really excited. And I had worked with Castile Landon before on the different book series called After, also a Wattpad story. Um, so I was really excited to audition and was really hoping that I got it. I was not, actually. I. Um... I hadn't even heard of Wattpad. I didn't know what like Wattpad was a thing, but I love reading. So like, it seems like the perfect place for anyone to put a book on. And then when you found out that it was, you know, a big love yeah. series, were you, did you feel any pressure going into that? Or did you feel ready going into it? Um, I had a little bit of pressure when I found out that like Claudia's books were read by 178 million people. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Um, yeah, and immediately, like when the casting announcement came out, I had a lot of fans of the book series that, that were so excited, and uh, yeah, so that that got me equally pumped, but also anxious. I'm like, I can't let these guys down. Like they love this character, so hoping, hoping they like the movie. 
Anna, what were your first thoughts on Caden when you first read the book or the script? And did your opinion of him change like when you started filming or throughout that process? Um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't say my opinion changed of him. Um, I don't know, it, it, I, I kind of see like whenever I play a character, it's like getting to know somebody new, right? It's like meeting somebody new and, you, and like the more and more you sit with them, the more and more you learn. So it wasn't that anything changed. It's it's just, it, it deepened the relationship I had with him. And I started to see how me as Ross was similar to Caden, how we were different. Um, but uh, yeah, my initial thoughts were he's just, you know, he, he's been through something and he can't forgive himself. He's been through trauma and he feels guilty and he's taking it out on himself and like going down this destructive route. Um, and then the power of love saves us all. Did you feel that you and Kiana kind of were on the same page when it came to your characters and their relationships and their feelings and reactions, or were there any kind of disagreements? Uh, no, I think we were pretty much on the same page. I, I, I think, uh, yeah, we had the same instincts about it when we talked about it. We were like, yeah, this absolutely makes sense. And um, watching the movie, like it, it's it's so crazy to see it unfold within like the span of an hour and a half, like to think something that you've spent months on um because we we were pretty meticulous about like at the beginning of the movie how cold we are with each other and then the nice moments are really nice towards the end and, and the, the payoff seems nice so and also working with castile the director like we all were very collaborative on on crafting this arc and uh yeah we were all very much on the same page and obviously you're sort of a boxer in this movie did you have any experience in martial arts or, bo or boxing before this and what was the training like yeah um so before this film, I actually studied three styles of martial arts, which were not related to this film at all. Um, but then uh, 10 weeks before this film, we, I went into heavy boxing, Brazilian jiu-jitsu training. Uh, yeah, two, two training sessions a day for 10 weeks. Uh, and it was pretty new, but like, thankfully, like, you know, all martial arts kind of tie into each other one way or another. So um, it, it felt natural pretty quickly. I had no experience in martial arts or boxing before training for this. So I started training. The total was about eight weeks in New York and then two weeks of intense training in Poland when we arrived. Um, I was working out and training twice a day, six times a week. And it was interesting because I play a trainer, like you said, and someone who's learning and knows about fighting. So while I was learning the fighting aspect, I also was learning like how to hold mitts and how to train not just another person, but a guy who's like a foot taller than me. So it was a lot of levels to training that were very rewarding. And I definitely fell in love with martial arts through that process. This movie is very much through Sienna's eyes and it's not just a movie about Sienna and Caden falling in love. It's also a film about female empowerment as Sienna sort of she comes to learn her worth after that relationship with Jax. How important was that for you? Very, very important. You said it so well. Um, it, the story is very empowering, I'll say, for women. And um, I love that the way that it, it kind of, the trajectory of Sienna's journey and how by the end of it, she really is fighting for herself. You know, there's there's a lot of different versions that the way this, the story could have gone where she ends up choosing like one over the other and it's a, still about someone other than herself. And I thought it was really important to show a woman's journey on screen where she just starts to focus on herself and love herself and heal herself. So I was, yeah, very, very important to see that on screen. Your first thoughts on Sienna when you read the book or the script? Did, did your opinion of her change at all as you started filming? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I read the book after I filmed because I was told that it was a little bit different and I wanted to just have my own impulses and ideas about Sienna. I think I came into it thinking that she was going to be very hard-headed, have a very tough exterior and really tough. And then throughout the course of filming, working alongside Matthew plays Jax and Ross who plays Caden, um, just surrendering to the natural chemistry and what they were bringing out of me, it changed and I got to learn a lot of Sienna's softer sides and how, you know, she wants to be taken care of at the same time as like driving her own life. She is kind of like swooning over them at the same time. And I just think that that's 
like how we are as humans, you know, as much as I wanted her to be just strong, I learned throughout filming how important it was to show her genuine smile and have those scenes like the painting scene with Sienna and Caden where she can, you know, giggle from a truthful place and show that softer side to her. Surprised me in a good way. And aside from the martial arts and boxing, was there anything surprisingly challenging about this film? Surprisingly challenging? Uh, yeah, I had, well, aside from the, I wouldn't say this is actually related to the fighting. I didn't realize how hard stunt fighting was because <laughs> we're, it took us two weeks to shoot most of the fights in this, um, like the main, the, the big fights. And you're shooting 12 hours a day um, so it, it felt more like running a marathon than fighting a fight. And I was just not expecting that of, of just being exhausted all the time, all day. And, um, and stunt fighting really takes it out of you. So, uh, I was genuinely surprised. I have so much, like I had a lot of respect for the, for these action movies before, but now even more so. Do you have a favorite scene maybe that really stuck out to you? I would say the scene that I like finally profess my love to Kiana or Sienna, um, was really nice because he was like kind of awkward and it's like I'm a guy that doesn't express his feelings at all and there was like a little bit of humor in there and then you know it it's just a nice scene and then it leads up to our our sex scene which I thought was beautiful um the paint scene actually the paint scene was really fun and to watch that it went from like something really fun and cute to something really sexy really fast so that uh that caught me off guard but in a good way so obviously Claudia Tan wrote the book series. I was wondering if you like had a chance to talk to her or did she give you any tips on how to approach the character? Um, yeah, so she actually was on set and uh, yeah, she, um, yeah, we had a nice talk about it and, and, and she gave me a little bit of insight into more of like who Caden was like from her perspective. And um, yeah, it's always good like as an actor to get, I think other people, especially the writer's perspective on on the character that you're, you're trying to act because it's, you know, I know, Ross and I know how I see things, but um, it's important to know like what the audience wants to see and especially the writer. So um, yeah, she was great. She, she came and visited it on set and that was a nice, uh, you know, it, it was nice to attach a face to a name or sorry. Yeah, face to a name, name to a face, named either way, <laughs> you get what I mean. And obviously you've been in sort of like another romantic movie that's been adapted from book four to all the boys. Yeah. Obviously your character did have his own romantic arc in that, but what was it like getting to be the lead in this type of film this time around? And did you take any lessons maybe from to all the boys into this film? Uh, I, I would say I took more from 13 Reasons Why to this than uh, to all the boys, just because, you know, that was a series and there was a lot of character development. And then being the lead of a film, you have more time to develop. And I wouldn't say more time, but you need to be more efficient with developing your character. So, um, yeah, there were actually parallels between Zach Dempsey and Caden Williams that I saw that actually like helped a lot with the guilt of and not being able to forgive yourself. Um, but with Caden, it was just it, much more personal and uh, and and accelerated. So um, yeah, I, I felt like I had a nice runway with Thirteen Reasons Why to create Caden. 